In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to manage content inside of monday.com. I go over which board I recommend using, how to use all of the different columns inside of that board, and also how to use the views. And I also make a few recommendations on better ways in which you can manage your blog posts, your YouTube posts, your Facebook posts, all of that inside of your monday.com system. Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick. Just before we do get into the video, if you are signing up to monday.com for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into monday.com, you are of course gonna to come to the home screen. Now in order to plan and manage your content inside of monday.com, what we firstly wanna do is go up to the workspaces in the top left hand corner here and I am on our example workspace. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and add a new board template. So press the add button, go to choose from templates. And then the one that we want is content planning. So if you search in the top left hand corner there, content planning, this is the board that we wanna go for. So go ahead and press the use button and we just need to wait for this to load up. So do give it a second, there we go our board has now loaded up and this is where we can go ahead and do all of our content planning so really really useful board and i'm glad monday.com has provided a template as it makes it makes it a lot easier to just dive in and get going from the off so as you can see we've got a few different sections here we've got the this month section next month and new content now it's interesting how it's broken down here i'd probably recommend doing that a little bit differently probably on a month to month basis and um, and, and do like an approval request or requesting approval and then assign it to a month but it's, it's entirely up to you it is open to interpretation of course this is where we just write about the general information about the content so you can see blog post one blog post two from here you can then go ahead and assign owners so who's in charge of writing that particular piece of content and it's really important to do that make sure that gets done for each of the users or your team members in the business and the users inside of the system they'll then see that in the my work page moving on from there we have status so again this can be customized and you've got a few different status options here but again you can you can uh, add your own and edit the existing ones we've got proofreading pending review published stuck things like that and you can change the status of each of these con pieces of content as you so wish and then from there, we've got content type. So what type of content is this? As you can see, email, post, website, article, blog. You probably, it depends how you want to operate. I've done a video on how to manage social media inside of monday.com, but I see absolutely no reason why you wouldn't be able to manage your social media from here. So you could just see, use your content type and add Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Twitter posts, things like that as well. I suppose content is more on the written side, but it's, it's up to you. Again, you could use YouTube content as well. And then from there, we have published dates. So when does this particular piece of content go live? When are you posting it? When are you releasing it? Things like that. And then we've got a brief. So this brief is a long text uh, field and this is where you can write out detailed information about this particular piece of content, what, what it needs to include, things like that. Um, just give insight into whoever is picking up this task, whoever actually needs to write the content, give them as much detail as possible. And then moving on from the brief, we have the files. Now this is where you can upload any files associated with this particular piece of content. And you can upload them as you can see from your computer, from a link, from Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, and we can create documents directly inside of monday.com as well. And you can store those pieces of information here. You could probably, you're probably gonna end up adding things like photos to the files so they know that they need to add that to the article or maybe it's part of the youtube video or maybe that's what the instagram post is for example but that allows you to go ahead and do that finally we've got the link to the content so it's really really simple just type in the web address so i'm just going to type in crmcrew.co.uk and then you can just add a piece of text to display it so it doesn't look messy and um, so i'll just put crm crew and as you can see, that link has now been added. And then finally, we have time tracking. Now, I don't have access to it because it's part of the paid version, but time tracking is essentially a means of uh, putting lines of time in for when you, sp when you spend time on content. So it's just about recording information. So it will say, oh, I did, you, you press play and then pause, or you can manually enter it. 
and then you see uh, I did 30 minutes of work here and things like that and then 30 minutes on another day and then it will just record that information for that particular piece of content. So hopefully that's given you a good insight. As you can see down the bottom, it gives you the time as well. Like I did say at the start of this video, I do recommend changing the sections. I'm not a fan of how they've laid out the sections and how you'd manage them all. Especially as I go through these different views, you'll find at the end we've got a content request form. I feel like this could be better managed. So my suggestion would probably be have like each month, so January, February, March, April, and then at the top, have a content planning, a content request or content approval section where all the content goes into there. It then looks to get approved and then assigned to the month. And I'd have the month, the most recent month added at the top. So it would go down the bottom here. It would be January, then February. And then obviously we've got March coming up. So you might have that in that list just to make it even easier. You don't want to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to get to the month that you're meant to be working on. So that is just hopefully going to be useful information for you. Up the top, I'm just going to go through each of the views that we kindly get from monday.com. So firstly, we've got the content planning calendar. Now, you're going to be upset here. I don't have access to this. It is a calendar. It's not that exciting. Um, it will just show you the published dates when everything is going live um, and the, that particular type of post. Moving on from the content planning calendar, we have a Kanban view. This will show you each post and the status. So the Kanban view is broken down by status, as you can see. So I can see that um, this is being this particular post has been working on. We've got pending review for this post, um, and we can scroll down the bottom here, and we can see all of the different status levels for each of the posts and which post is in that status. So this is useful. I don't know how useful for this particular um, content planning sort of thing. I probably wouldn't look to use the Kanban view in this instance. In sales, however, this is a really amazing feature. We've got team workload. So if you click on team workload, you will see all of the uh, users or your, all of your team members inside of your business who's been assigned to what. So if I just go back to the, uh, the main table quickly and I will assign myself as an owner for a record. So we'll go back and hopefully that will then be there. You can see that my name and I'll be able to see when that particular piece of content needs to go up. So if I scroll through, you should hopefully be able to find it. Maybe it hasn't got a date, but you get the idea. You'll have all of the users as a list here and anything that's been unassigned as well. And then you'll be you'll be able to see which posts that they'll be doing throughout the course of these, these months. So that's team workload. Um, especially if you're a manager, it'll give you a good insight into what's going on. So that is a useful tool. And then we've got content assets. These are all of the files. So all of the files associated with any of the items inside of this particular board, you'll be able to see them all here. I think it, you're better off managing them on an individual basis on the um, actual main table, but this will just give you an insight into everything that is available. You can break them down if you want. If you, you can break them down if you've got the filter. I don't have the filter, but you could just filter it by that particular project and then it becomes useful because then you can see everything broken down filtered for that particular uh, item and then you can just drag and drop off the screen onto your computer. Moving on from the content assets, we've got the content dashboard. Now this is just the dashboard pieces of information um, like content request types and the battery. So what the battery is kind of like a status. You can see the time tracking per content type, time tracking per content owner. You probably want to start customizing this to fit what you want to see um, as a manager or as an individual user of the system. It is going to be helpful. I don't know how helpful. It's up to you how much customization you want to do. You can add further widgets here if you'd like to. Um, so feel free to check that out. It is it can It can be very useful. We've then got the my tasks and these are my tasks as in specifically all of the tasks that have been assigned to me. So we had the uh, the team workload and that was everyone, but the my tasks are just tasks that I'd need to do. So I know here that I need to write these two pieces of content. So that would be that would be available for every user working on the content planning board. They'll be able to see everything that they need to do and not everything everyone needs to do. So You'd have that again, obviously, in the My Work page up the top left-hand corner here. But this is quite a useful tool just to break it down so you're familiar with what needs to be done. And then finally, we have our content request form. So this is why I mentioned changing the way the sections work, because 
I do believe that if you're having a content request form, you don't just want them to, you want them to be going into a specific area. So the content request form essentially allows you to put in a request for a particular piece of content. You fill out this form. This form can be shared with other people. It can be uh, embedded into your website as well. In this instance, it's probably gonna be best if you just maybe email it around. People can add ideas that they might have um, within your entire business. And then you can go through all of the requests or maybe change it to suggestions. Um, and then you can either approve or not approve as the case may be, whether the idea was any good or not. So the form would essentially look like if you press the preview button, this is what that form would look like. So you see they put their name, the content type, they give a brief of the content, um, like we mentioned on the main board, and then they can add some files if they'd like to, and then they just submit it, and then it will be entered directly into the, uh, the main table area. So to share the form, just press the share form button. You can copy the shareable link, or like I said, you can embed it using the HTML code that they provide into your website. So we'll head back to the main board. Obviously you can add additional columns as well as you see fit, but hopefully this video has given you a good insight into how to manage your content inside of monday.com. And I'll see you shortly in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set to manage content inside of monday.com. If you have found the video at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.